Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening, everybody. Turn on your camera. Thank you so much, uh, Isa and Haure. Okay. Ethan, how are you? Please uh, go to your camera there. Thank you. So today is the 1st of September. We still have to cover the last bit of CMC. By right, today supposed to cover the end of Cold War, uh, which I don't think, Ethan, you'll be covering that, right? Huh? Correct? Huh? Because I think your school has, uh, I mean, not the school, the MOE has decided not to cover the last topic of the end of Cold War. So I decided to took up the topics and cover a fair bit more on the CMC, and that's the end of the story because I believe hey, your history over already, huh, Ethan? Huh? Yeah, Sorry? it's over. I, I didn't hear you. Yeah, it's oh, over. okay. I uh, was CMC came out, huh, sir. CMC came out, yeah. Yeah, CMC came out, but oh. for SBQ, yeah, CMC came out for MC. Uh, okay, this one, this one will be SEQ. Uh. So just nice. Uh. So you cover both sides. Uh. Then you will be uh, good for you. Okay, now let's go. Uh. For okay, SEQ, uh, uh, for like SRQ, what came out was the uh, uh, Marshall Plan. Marshall Plan came out. SEQ, not SRQ. Please, please don't confuse. S SRQ. This is SEQ. Oh, SEQ. No, SRQ is social study. Oh, oh, oh. Then the, the essay, the essay, right, is mm. uh, Marshall plans came out. Oh, uh, ah, we went through. Yeah, we went through. That's good. We went through that. Okay. All right. So let's go through. Uh, last week we went through this one, right? We go through this one. We go through this one. Eastern and how rate. Do you go through this? Uh, Ethan, uh, Sing, uh, Ethan and Sing Chan. We went through right, this one? Ethan, uh. can you remember? Yes, uh. how do you say yes? Uh. Yeah, okay, now remember, I, I remember you asked me question about surprise and not surprise question, right? Oh, huh? Ethan, sorry, I got three cameras to see, so I may not see you knocking your head. So it's better that you show me a thumbs up. So that would be more prominent. Well, if I keep asking you, I say, I so feel bad. So this one we done. As long as I took out the answer. Okay, study source E. I think this is a question. How useful are uh, this a question? How useful is this source as evident of what cost CMC? Explain your answer. Okay, let's look at source E children. Even those for the set three, you may not cover. Later, we're going to cover the essay question or this one. Uh. Okay, we are going to do it. Uh. So let's finish this for each side now. Don't mind. Uh. Okay, source E. Okay, please speak first. Today, no, don't have contextual knowledge. Uh. It's all about skills. Okay, don't mind. Uh. Because the next three lessons, don't count this lesson. Uh. The next three lessons, will be all the way doing all these kind of questions, right? So prepare for your... Ethan, you stay in the east side of Singapore, is it? Mm, yeah. Ah, too far. How really where you stay? Ah? Which part of Singapore do you stay? How are you there, How really? East also. Ah, ah. Then inviting the two of you tomorrow for some history lesson extra free of charge uh, or SS uh, but 
I don't know if you can come. I, I welcome two of you. Uh, it's at Grassroot Club. Okay, done. Okay, so let's do the question E. How useful it is. Okay, can you do some uh, E turn? This for you. I think I'm not sure you print out the uh, this uh, Google Classroom this um, lesson plan. Okay, let's go here. How useful is this source as evident? What so spend some time. Sing Chan and how way you can do this as well. If you do you want to do this or if not, uh uh Ethan, hold on. Uh. Can you copy this? Can you screenshot this one? Uh Ethan and how uh Sing Chan and how Ray. Can you copy this one? Sing Chan and how Ray. Can you copy this to this one? This one screenshot, please. Okay, I want you to do now, the two of you. Okay, done. How right, done. Copy the question ready. Sing time, okay. Yeah, how right, done. Yes, okay. Okay, so Ethan, come under help you for this one first. So how are you gonna start? Give you a hint, huh? I will show you until here. So how Ray and Yi Sing Chen, you do the, the SEQ questions. Yi Chen, you do this one. This source is useful. As evident of what caused CMCS, it tells us that the Americans have placed the Soviets in a vulnerable situation. This is seen in the source where it tells us that the American leaders threatened war against the Soviet Union. And the, the Americans think that they could not act without fear of punishment. This tells us that the Americans have forced the Soviet to defend themselves by threatening the Soviets. That's L2 answer. Huh? I will take away all the highlighted videos. No more. Okay, Ethan, are you ready? He said, are you doing a, sorry, I didn't see. Are you doing a? Uh, can you show me the graph, uh, the source? Let me take a photo. Sure, 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 sure. What do you see? Move some chill. Okay, uh, wait. Uh. The, uh, Ethan, you also have to do this. Uh. So take this picture first. Okay. And, uh, you screenshot and paste it into uh, E. Uh. So this is under the Soviet paper, right? Yeah, Li Mei Huang Shan Dian Shi. Hmm. Okay. Done. Thank you. Uh, you must cross reference. You know, ah. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, Yi Yi Chen, ah, I'll tell you, you don't need. 啊, 如果你带出来, 你要send给我也是可以, okay. yeah, I just put my handphone here. If you want, you just send to me. Okay, take picture and send to me. I'll put it inside there, okay? Hey, this is based on trust, oh. Okay, I give you my handphone is to for work purpose. Huh? You don't kill me to go watch movie or this thing. Huh? After exam, then do that. You don't say, uncle, I don't sleep. We're going to eat McDonald's hot dog. Thank you, uncle. You tell me to eat McDonald's, I'll come back. You can eat McDonald's. You can eat McDonald's. Okay, okay. 
You can type under the chat there uh, to show to everyone also. Okay, Sing Chan and how many any questions so far? Okay, uh? you can look at your books, uh, how many and uh, Sing Chan. You can refer to your textbook, then uh, just okay, show me the answer later. I think this one we are doing all the SPQ, SEQ. Uh,
Uh, how are you? Where, where have you stopped at this point? Where, where are you writing now? Then unmute your mic, please. Thank you. Then show me your, your, your masterpiece. Yes, Harry, can you show me your masterpiece? Uh, Sin Chen also, can you show me your masterpiece where, where you stop really, as well as uh, Yi Chen also? Don't worry, uh, whatever, how much you write, you just show me, uh, at least I can. Yes, Sin Chen. So I'm typing it, so. Oh, okay, typing also, uh, okay. Uh, Harry also typing, ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, I go to toilet for a while first, huh? Hey, how are you there, Harry? Are you typing also? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Hey, how are you? Your SS and uh, history took back review. What's your result? Ah. Where are we? Are? Oh my gosh. Okay, I give you another five minutes, okay? Another five minutes.
你没有讲 useful 还是 not useful 啊，保养？你只是讲到 useful 哦。不会，不会，啊，记住哦，很多人犯错，很多天大的错误，记住哦。So at least here you do already you know ah,、uh, because if you just listen to me and not doing ah,、uh, then not not good ah.、Uh. So when you're doing and then oh I know I must find useful and not useful. 听者有份啊星辰，星辰，星辰，星辰，慢慢来，不要这么快。对对对对来，对对对对对 ，I can hear you. <laughs> oh, is is ah、uh, is how way? Sorry. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Okay. Since the source is not reliable, it's not useful. The source is not useful because. Yeah. Make it bigger. You put to convince, ah,、uh, not to con, not just of Soviet Union convince, ah.、Uh, To convince that America capital A ah、uh, started aggressions first, started the attack and aggression first. This is evidence or this is supported that they think they could act without fear of punishment. Remember the Soviet Union? Okay, that's a quote. This means that okay, this clearly shows that this means that the America shows aggression first. They make the first move ah.、Uh, okay, and Soviet Union placing missile in Cuba is reactive to okay reactive and. Pro, pro, protective to their motherland. I mean, this show that the citizen, this shows that ah,、uh, this show that the citizen will feel angry about American power and support the government in placing missile in Cuba. I don't think it may cause a nuclear war. Okay, that's it ah. Is that? Voila. Have you got anything to add? Oh,、uh, then after this, I'll if I have time, I'll write.、Uh, not if I have time, I'll write the uh the 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 the. the, the. Actually, be first. I should write the 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 account reference. Hmm. See ya. See ya. You want to write? You want to practice? You want to do this? I in my school has also done this. Be my students like this. 星辰写完了吗？浩瑞太完了吗？对的。Bang! Yeah, this one put a proper place.
I only see it an answer one, but the rest, can you just tap and show it to Uncle Ivan? Thank you. Yes. Okay, so far so good, Xin Chan. Okay, next, how Ray? Oh, by the way, I hope you all received your student performance appraisal for last month, August. Huh? So all of you are doing pretty good, well, and good, awesome. Okay, keep it up. Huh? Whatever you type in the chat group, please copy and paste in your MS Word in your laptop. Huh? I like the way you say, send a strong signal to the rest of the world, including Hitler, that the League of Nations was a weak and powerless organization. And there was nothing to worry or fear about. Okay, good. You got five months of the deck. Uh, you need to have two paragraphs. You break out in two paragraphs. It's okay. Good. How are you? Hey, how are you? How is your SS and history? Uh? Tell me you told me. Uh, both score very well, right? Sorry, uh, sometimes I can ask again. I'm a very forgetful person. You got 13 for history, right? And SS, the one that you do? Oh, and SS. Uh. I got 13 and SS. 13 is for history. That is the one. Okay, SS is the one you asked me to check, right? How many months you got? Well done. Well, that's A1. Huh? That's how many months? Huh? 13 and 450 is how much? Eighty-six, eighty-seven percent near to 100, near to 90%. Well done. Okay, 13, 13. Wow, Uncle Raymond can go and buy 4D. Uh, my ma, piao de. Isan, Isan. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, Xin Chan. Thank you, Yi Chan. Okay, now, uh, Yi Chan, are you still typing? If not, we are wait for you. So you can just continue. No, no, it's okay. Since you type, then you show to us. It's okay. A little and you just oh. some money yeah. Okay. Uh, um, can you copy the uh, three of you copy and put inside your MS Word uh, and then type the title. Then later, once you end this lesson, please submit in the Google Classroom. Okay. Let me check what is the Google Classroom. Uh, lesson post. Submit to the latest one. Uh. I can't remember which classroom it is. Continue asking, Chan. Yours is still a bit short, huh, the answer. How many you still, if you want, you can add on, but still can pass. Huh? This will be about six, five to six marks for that. See? Uh, you can submit your, your answer under the lesson 31 and 32, that one. Okay, you can post your answer in lesson 31 and 32, okay? Thank you. Okay, 
Yi Chan, can you read to the class, please? So this sauce is useful. Oh, you're typing, huh? No, it's okay. This sauce is useful as evidence of what caused CMC, as it tells us that the Americans had placed the Soviets in a vulnerable situation. This is seen in the source where it tells us that American leaders threatened war against the Soviet Union and that Americans think that they can, could act without fear of punishment. This tells us that Americans had forced the Soviets to defend themselves by threatening the Soviets. Okay, gentlemen, uh, how are you there? Just show me a thumbs up if you are at the screen. Please, I, I, at least I see your face. Uh, Sing Chan, please uh, don't let me keep calling you all, don't mind. Huh? Just, uh, it's really today I'm very tired I've been talking. So don't mind, I'll go near to the screen, okay? Thanks, huh? Okay, so I, I know you are there. I don't want to talk to, to the, the, the air. Huh? How are you there? Uh, nah, correct, at least I see your hair there. Huh? Okay, your head there and your hair there, like each and like that, a bit come near closer to that. Now, gentlemen, if you were to write ideas for the source itself, for this question, study source E, how useful is this source? And as evidence, so this is a server marks. By writing like this, uh, with the evidence support, and this source, whether you you want to start with useful or not useful, you already get three marks out of it. No? And by adding some more, you see, no marks to be awarded from this level if student does not make any reference to content for source E. Award three marks if student identified missing content without cross-referencing. So without cross-referencing, that just now what? Uh, I Correct me if I'm wrong, Yi Chen, right? Yi Chen was talking about like that. Okay, there's some cross-referencing. No, no, there's no cross-referencing. Right, uh, Yi Chen, you don't have cross-referencing here, right? Okay, with the yeah, other source. Ah, so you just write this, you only get 4 points, 3 to 4 points. It's not good, you see? 4 points if you see, student cross refers to another source of support missing. So since you got no cross-reference, you only stay to 3 points. So you just and you just need another cross reference. Look at the time exam of time, the cross reference is in pass now. Four marks now. Now you try to say like let's go. You see useful or not useful. So what happened if you write useful and not useful, but you do not have cross reference? Yeah, somewhere here. Okay, this one is it. Let's go. Uh, Ethan, sorry. Can you read to the class, please? This source is useful as evidence on the cause of the Cuban Missile Crisis, as it is supported by source M, making it reliable. According to source E, the Americans had placed the Soviets in a vulnerable situation. This is seen in the source where it tells us that American leaders threatened war against the Soviet Union and the Americans think that they could act without fear of punishment. This view is supported by source F, which tells us that the Americans had placed Soviet in a vulnerable position through the Bay of Pigs invasion, in which caused American support Cuban exile to invade Cuba. As a result, Cuban and Soviet leaders felt the need to preserve the Cuban uh, revolution and deter a possible US invasion. Therefore, since Source E is supported by Source F in claiming that Americans had placed Soviets in a vulnerable position, Source E is a reliable source, making it useful as evidence on the cost to the Cuban Missile Crisis. Ethan, please, oh, during exam, use this word like that. The, the view is further supported. Okay, now see, you tell me. Uh. Okay, it's nothing wrong to say this view is supported. I would prefer to use this word. This view is further supported to enforce, enhance, and ensure that you ensure that this is another source that cost referencing. That why I'm telling you, uh, examiner. Okay, it is strongly further supported with this one. So, Fa Guan Da Ren, my witness. CEO of the company. So when you bring out the source to cost referencing, uh, Yi Chen, Xin Chen, and Harvey, you must use the word like this very strongly. 
okay, the view is further supported. This can be further looked into. So further means you are, you are telling me that I'm, I am very confident the source that I quote will give very strong evidence and support and the argument. Why? After this, you say, therefore, so far, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, then, what's the confirm you to it. So this is supported, it's useful. So therefore, source E is a reliable source. Making, you always must use this, uh, making it useful uh, as evidence. Please write this down, uh, making it useful, making it useful. Is to emphasize, to tell the examiner that I cross-reference correctly. Even sometime, uh, even you cross-reference wrongly, but the, the link is pretty, pretty weak, uh, it's okay now. You don't answer, ma? Yi Chen. You don't answer, ah? Yi Chen, and Hao Rei. The two of you next year will go set four, ah. Okay, this is from history point of view, ah. The Amor, ah, the British people would like to see all these kind of words here, okay? To, to emphasize your understanding and your ability to grab hold of the, the concept well. Okay, this is how it works, okay? Okay, right? And this is, sorry, sorry, my dear. Is this useful? Huh? I told you thousand and one time, every one of you here in this, in this uh, tuition. I will say this again in uh, SS as well, thousand one time. I don't understand why, uh, not any one of you, I'm not against anybody. I don't understand why, uh, since you know it's useful or not, uh, is this source useful? You know this type of question I have to ask two sides of the coin. Yes and no, useful and not useful. Reliable and not reliable. Why do you need to two? Okay? They will not accept this. They find that it's very frustrated and short change that the students cannot get the concept right. The, the, the source based question right. Okay. For me, I, I will ever, every time I mark my, my student paper, if they only give either useful and then don't give this one, I'm so very fed up. You give this one, you don't give this one, I also very fed up. So at least uh, you may have cross reference to F. Uh, it's just like useful and then not, not useful, but never cross reference on uh, how we eat things. I will still can accept it. Uh. I will accept it uh, Ethan, to say that, okay, the student know how to answer useful and not useful, but the student do not. Okay, so the students, uh, one student, one student, the student did not have the time to write cross referencing. But look on it, it's a young. My perception to the student is that, hey, you know, you have to write useful, you will always not useful, but you will not write it. Then I will not give, a, I will not give five marks really. I'll just give four marks. You understand? Know? But if you have two, but you don't have cross-referencing, I can give you five marks, I can give you six marks. It's not a good thing. Maybe you have to write it very well. So if you have to give it just like this, only one useful, then you don't give not useful. Huh? I will not give you high mark. I, I would think that you are lazy, you are not motivated, or you just don't care. You just like to write, don't know how to write and cross-reference that. I'm so sorry. So take note, uh, children, please. Okay, it's very important. Get on, uh, it's a... Source E is not useful as evidence on the cause thus to the Cuban Missile Crisis and is refuted by Source F, making it unreliable. According to Source E, the Americans have put the Soviet in a vulnerable position. However, this is contradicted by Source D, which claims that the Soviet were the ones who had placed the Americans in a vulnerable position. The evidence from the source is that the sudden and secret decision to place no, sudden and secret. a sudden and secret decision to place strategic uh strategic weapons outside of Soviet soil is deliberately pro, uh, provocative and unjustified change and that the presence of missiles in Cuba creates an, exploit, an explicit threat to the peace and security of all Americans. This suggests... Sorry, very long. This is very long. First, you get this, this quotation from here to here. Then another quotation from here to here. Why do you to write this in the sky? Why do you to write this in the sky? Why do you to write this Then you don't need to add all these things. Why do you want just to do the extra? Okay, let, let me explain first, uh, Yichan. The reason is because, you see, you already say here further support to be useful. 
Now you have to use two evidence to support that it's not useful. You know why? Because you have to end your conclusion. Therefore, this source is not evident. Mean by ma? Ah, okay. So that's the reason why. Okay, it's not just because of code for the sake of putting. Okay, thank you, sir. Carry on. Carry on. Oh. Uh, this suggests that Soviet action had escalated the tensions in the region because they had placed the Americans in a vulnerable position. Since source D refutes source E, this makes source E unreliable and thus not useful as evidence of the background to the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, children, can you copy this one down, the one I've highlighted? <coughs> but don't copy like that. Huh? So just copy like that, but not Cuban Missile. This one... <coughs> <laughs> I cannot see you smiling at it, Ethan. Why you hide your face? <laughs> okay, so uh, look at this, uh, Ethan. Can you copy uh, Sing Chen and Hao Rei? Can you just copy this one? Since source A refutes source D. Since source A refutes source C, something like that. Huh? This makes source, please write down this sentence. This makes source, write down this sentence. This makes source E, F, G, or I, A, B, C unreliable. And thus, I uh, must write this one, uh, and thus. Not useful, has evidence of the background to the CMC. So, this the underlying one is very important. Okay, very important. Okay, this refutes. Okay, use this word, I refuse. Okay? It's an okay? Well, curse out some more time. Don't be so uncle, you want to have some drinks. Don't even offer me a cup of water. Ah, okay, carry on. This sauce. This source is not useful as evidence on the cause of the Cuban Missile Crisis and is refuted by source A, making it unreliable. According to his source, Americans were responsible for bringing the world to a potential war, but according to source A, it was Soviet Union's fault. Other possibility inference related is inference uh, to issues in the questions. The Americans were bullied. The Americans had instigated the tensions. The Americans violated the international law. Can you copy all these things here also? Uh, you can say about Hitler uh, against the Treaty of Versailles also, and the League of Nations as well. Okay, or the Marshall Plan as well. Okay, so look at this one here. He even cross-reference A there. Okay, I got student ask, hey, uncle, is it necessary or not? Not necessary. But if you write down, you'll be good. No? Okay, Ming Pai, huh? why? Because you see, uh, award this level only if the answer has made reference to source E content, which you did just now here. Okay, and then answer that explains, answer that explains bias well, but with no reference to source evidence, okay, in any of the paragraph should be given maximum five. Answer that explains bias well, but with no reference, that means no cross reference, you see? I told you right, just now like Ethan, if you put one yes, one useful and not useful, and you have more supportive, and you maybe you just cross, let's say this one, you got no cross-referencing, you just put useful, without cross-referencing F. But this one, you did it very well. You may not get five marks, no? You might come, you might jump into here six marks. Oh, you see? You see? How the marking scheme is like, you might feel very confusing, right? You don't care how the examiner mark. Okay, I'm telling you, write as much as you can, because even your wrong point, they will not deduct mark, they just cross it. But what happened, you write more, and it's so relevant to your answer, and the answer is much better than to my, my this template answer. You score, man. Seriously, there's no, no professor uh, will write a template answer to give to Cambridge one. I'm telling you. Professor, you said these kind of questions, the professor A and B and C and D will give the, the answer is 90% same or similar. But when you come to conclusion and certain things are, there will be a 10% different from different professor. 
Okay, so the more you write, you're improving yourself, you see. Okay, let's read on the last part, uh, Ethan. This story, uh, Ethan, before you read the last part, uh, take note of this, what he say. You realize not useful is damn bloody long. And then the useful is only like that. So now you guys might ask, uh, Uncle, how the hell I know? Uh, when should I write more on useful or more on not useful? You can't tell. You only can tell during the source based on your gut feel, based on your, your years of experience doing this. You can tell, okay, based on this, I, and oh, oh, sorry, sorry, and based on your general knowledge and the contextual knowledge, how much you read. So some question is a very straightforward that useful is still equal example. It's just like if you say Hitler is a good leader, you only can use, okay, yeah, I agree. He helped the Nazis in Germany, but Hitler is not a useful leader. You will have a lot of things to say. So that's, that's how I'm just giving you an example. It really impact in your work, uh, in the real life, uh, how Ray sings and eats. Uh. Because at the end of the day, your boss will ask you, hey, how useful are this project? Uh, 老板啊, 我觉得这个project不可以做啊, 因为哦, 首先, manpower, machine money to invest in this country. Eh. But I think uh, it is very useful. Okay, that one you say not useful, right? Uh, it's not very useful to invest in country A. But I think it's very useful to invest in country B because we though, though we have the, the manpower, the management, we may not have enough money and the machine, but never mind. Because country B, the exchange rate is much cheaper than country A. At the same time, country B is a developing country, so we can bank on the people there. Or else the country A is already going to be developed, so the manpower cost is expensive. Therefore, I find it is very useful to invest our project in country B. Ah, conclusion like that. You see, this is where you apply this knowledge in the real life. This is where you apply your knowledge into your project when you go to JC or even Poly. This also applies when you want to buy a house near your parents' house or even near your in-laws, parents' in law house. Why is it useful? Why is it much better and not better to stay with your parents-in-law or not to stay with your parents due to what kind of factors? And then you have to cross-referencing, not only to support them, make sure that if you stay near your parents, you will not offend your parents-in-law. Or if you stay near your parents-in-law, your parents will not say you You see? You mean by how it's a, you see? This is how you help to further make it, you know, there's no right and wrong answer. It's how you make it further to please the person when he does it, he thinks you have a Okay? Yitzhan, you understand? So you don't to write useful or useful. I'll tell you, this is the old man who is writing the paper. History is not in Cambridge. So you generally do something better. Okay? Okay, sorry, Yitzhan, your conclusion, please. Uh, this source is not useful as, as evidence of the background to the Cuban Missile Crisis as this is un, uh, an unreliable source because it was published on the Pravda, a Soviet national paper. The purpose behind this was to justify the Soviet's actions by accusing the Americans of being aggressive. Hence, it will not say anything that would place the Soviet government in a negative light, making this a biased source. Hence, it is unreliable and thus not useful. Ah, because it's from the newspaper of Soviet. Therefore, you have to say good thing about Soviet and the country, which I think is not really 100% biased. Who said uh, that US must be 100% correct? After so many years, uh, do you think now you see the true color of US? If this will be to bring up now uh, at this century, uh, people will say, no, US is sucks, man. No good, man. Uh, the communist is better now. Look at China. Uh, look at Cuba. Look at Vietnam. Vietnam also communist country now. They are doing well. Uh. Finally, soon as a democratic republic country are getting sucks, getting from bad to worse. So, of favorism to the particular things. Now, what happened if this source is said, um, is interviewed by Singapore Street Times? What happened is interviewed by uh, Japanese Street Times? It might say different things again. If Japanese Street, uh, Japanese newspaper, not Street Times, it's Japanese newspaper, I find that it might be 
on the sitting on the fence because first US attacked Japan before. So at that time, Japan may not still happy with what US has done to them for the, the bombing of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, if we are talking about the time frame like in the 60s, huh? because Cuba missiles is in the 60s. So Japan is just in the verge of recovery from the economic process. So no doubt they are recovering from Japanese uh, economic process, infrastructure. They also have the sense of hatred because of what U.S. done to the two city. So then again, how if I use Japan as uh, another source of cross-referencing? So this is really a uh, the highest level, of, uh, they call the, the Hamana, higher ability, the, the level L5 thinking. Okay, now study all sorts. US was responsible for the Cuban Missile Crisis. How far do you support? How far do the sources support? Sub, the, how far do the sources support this statement? As the answer, right? How far do the sources support this statement? As How far things can think to uh, can think to? US was responsible for CMC. Do you agree or not? Huh? Okay, Xingchan. How are you? Say it down. Okay, let's go source by source. Huh? Don't give the answer. Huh? Wait, you type out for me. Okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Do you think uh, US, okay, just in case you forget again, uh, US was responsible. Do you think this one is US responsible? Don't tell me, uh, yes or no. If you say yes, you put under source A. If you say no, then you put under source A, okay? Can I move on? If you, if you, if you can, please raise up your thumbs. Can I move on? Thank you, Hao Rei. Xin Chen, Yi Chen, can I move on to source B? Thank you. Yi Chen. I'm sorry. Uh, can you tell me whether this one is either you agree or not agree? Source A, is it yes or no? Based on this picture. Okay, don't tell me the answer, huh? okay, can I? All right, okay, then I move on. B, do you think it's a US or not the US involvement? Is it plus neutral or minus? Okay, once you finish, you just show me a thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Sing Chan, okay, ah? Okay, let's see, let's see, down this is switch for. So, so, me, what the one thing has a Sulian the one thing. Ah, so fast, ah, Sing Chan. This one you finish, ah? Okay, how we finish, ah? Okay, let's look at D. Who's fault? Is it US or not US? Okay, there you go. This one, eh? this two. Eh? Okay. Can I? Okay, can you just type in the chat group uh, for the three of you? You can tell me uh, if, you, if it's yes. Uh, for example, if you yes, you just type yes equal to S A S C S D. Then no will be equal to S B S E, uh, something like that. Uh. Okay, look at the chat group, Yixing Chan. Okay, if yes, that means source A, source C, source D is yes. 
source D, uh, source Bravo and source Echo is no. Okay, can you type the answer now? And then if F is not there, right, you put that uh, neutral. Uh, no, no, you don't put yes. Yes is under which one? Yes equal to which source? Thank you, Harry. So it's A, B, C. C is neutral. D, E, source D does no dots. A, B, D does not support, E and F support. Okay, thank you. So waiting for the E turn and Sing turn. Not sure. Just now I asked you to go through already, right? The source. You did not pay attention. It's not, you're not sure. You did not go through the source. You think I don't know. Ask you just now later to play COD. Now you play, you see. Uh, not sure. Okay, Ethan. Thanks for being honest, Ethan. It's okay. You know Uncle Raymond's star already. <laughs> don't worry. Sing Chan, how are you? Eh, no, 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 no. Okay, then you may have type it. You have to share it with Okay, wait ah. Uh. They say wait a ah. Uh. It say wait a, not wait ah. Uh. It's wait a. <laughs> it's and next week I might be giving you the full exam paper that I'm going to spot for O level. Okay, so simu yitai ah. Oh boy, how long are you? Are you ready? I have to go through the SEQ. No, I cannot go first. I want you to do. Don't worry. Unless you say you cannot like see Sing Chen like that. Don't know. If you don't, just put the answer. Because for you, set for now, you have to put you a bit of pressure. Don't mind. Huh? Set three can relax a bit. No problem. So don't worry, Ethan. You have to take a bit of stress from here. Sorry. Wait, Joe, why is source B support? And why is source B not support for like the one that just now? That's how we talk, not what I talk. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh,
<laughs> so cute. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my chair. Okay. Uh, only SD, uh, Saucy and D. Uh. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Yitan, uh, Xinchan. I can't hear you, leh. CSD. I can't hear you. Saucy seems to support the hypothesis by portraying U.S. as being unreasonable for yelling at Russia for placing missiles in Cuba when U.S. itself was guilty of placing multiple missiles in U.S. bases in Turkey, Persia, etc. This shows the unfairness of the U.S.'s attitude towards the Soviets. However, while portraying the Americans to be unreasonable, the source itself does not clearly blame the Americans for the crisis. This is expected as the British were American allies and would not explicitly blame the crisis on Americans. Supports the hypothesis as it tells us that the Americans had placed the Soviets in a vulnerable position. This is seen in the source where it tells us that the American leaders threatened war against the Soviet Union and that the Americans think that they could act without fear of punishment. However, being a Soviet newspaper, it is expected that this source will blame the Americans as it seeks to justify its actions to its people. <laughs> I like the way he said, however, being a newspaper of Soviet, well, of course, la, that's what's the world, the world, the confirm support the, okay. So it's C and E, uh, which is that uh, they, they support that this is true, uh, agree, I uh, say yes. So C and E, whoever says C and E, uh, you say E not. Uh. So it's how can be E not? How can we East is not supportive? US was responsible. It's turn. It should be yes. Right. You see, support E, support. Okay, right? Not support. It's turn. Uh, since, uh, how ray? First two. First one. Source A. How ray? Source A does not support the hypothesis as it accuses Khrushchev of endangering world peace. This is seen in the source where Khrushchev is forcing the lady, representing peace to the brink of the cliff using a sword. He is forcing her to jump down the cliff by threatening her with a sword. This shows that Khrushchev was trying to end world peace by placing the world in a dangerous situation. However, this source does not clearly show that USA was not to be blamed for the crisis. Khrushchev can be seen as endangering world peace by retaliating against the Americans, not because he caused the crisis. Hence, while it seems to not support the hypothesis, this source is not very clear in its stand. Thank you. So this hypothesis is very good to use. Huh? You know what it means, right? Hypothesis, the reasonings, the, pur the reasons, the purpose, the rationalities of it. Uh, please, uh, I will not agree with these statements here. If you are not sure, please do not put this up. You might contradict that. However, this source does not clearly show the US was not to be blamed for the crisis. Uh, we know that um, in my contextual knowledge and my general knowledge, I know US is not fully to be blamed. I can, you cannot say does not clearly show. Uh, some examiner might take it that you are not sure whether US is supposed to be blamed or not. So my advice is don't put this this statement in in my in my opinion because some examiner might might um rephrase it in such a way uh, so is yes or no some people some examiner i think that yes is part of it but so the best is don't put this statement in my opinion huh? okay so uh you have to use the hypothesis yes so so i say i will not say that it's forcing the lady like uh hurry i would prefer to say uh, uh kushev is dragging the lady by force that was sounds better, okay? It's a okay. Khrushchev is dragging the lady by force. Just the pi liang wei chang. That means force him by dragging him with against his own free will, right? Uh, how right? Next one. Source B does not support the hypothesis as it blames Cuba for the crisis. 
According to the source, Castro was seen as being anti-American. This is seen in the source where it shows that after coming to power, Castro took over American-owned ranches, sugar ref refineries, oil refineries, hotels and banks. This shows that Castro targeted American companies and forced them to shut down, and such anti-American actions caught, caused tension between US and Cuba, leading to the crisis. However, as part of the US government, it is expected that the report will not blame the Americans at, for the crisis. Okay, so you see, source B does not support because of this idea that because uh, based on B itself, Castro was being anti-American. So that, that itself is true based on your contextual knowledge and GK that, okay, Castro is already anti-American because he's communist. That means he is sharing the different ideology with US. Obviously, la, if you are against that kind of ideology, that means you are not in good terms. La. What the hell? Why should I join you for what? Of course, you're not things. Okay, so it's, it's very normal that US have to safeguard themselves because all along before that, Cuba was not a uh, was not anti-American. But with this person coming, I feel threatened. That's why I feel not so good. Okay, D. Uh, it's Sing, uh, Sing Chan. Source D does not support the hypothesis as it blames the Soviets for instigating the crisis as the sudden and secret decision to place strategic weapons outside of Soviet soil is deliberately provocative and unjustified, blaming the Soviets for the crisis. However, Kennedy's aim was to justify the government's actions to the Americans to earn their support. So naturally, he will blame the situation on the enemy and hence cannot be relied to give an accurate portrayal of the situation. Yeah, okay. So you see, what it means that, that you see, source this doesn't support this because Soviet for instigating, he started off, he used secret missions, he against it, he purposely said, ah, ah, come on, come on, attack me, you see, it's not my fault. They are the ones who suffer. They are the ones who make me like that. What's wrong? I'm taking East Germany. What's wrong? I'm taking the Eastern, Western, Sorry, Eastern Bloc of Europe to be communist. It's, it's, my, it's what I deserve. What the German has done for me, I will be able to do it. It's like I'm watching a movie, it's like that drama shows like that. I'm watching that, uh, that they're taking away the, the property, the shares of kind of things. Okay, now, anyone say F is not taking side, there's only one source. Uh. Well, if you can bring out this one, uh, I got student ask, uh, really, man, uncle? Seven marks must write all these. Ah. Can I just do, choose only one yes, one no, and one neutral can or not? Can. Then you get like that. Law. Four to four to six mark law. But you write more, then of course. Lah. Okay, let Ethan read the conclusion. Source F does not blame anyone for the crisis as it explicit, uh, explicitly makes it clear that it is stating the Soviet's point of view. This is seen in the source where it starts off with why had Khrushchev sent the missiles and then proceed to list the various reasons from the Soviet's point of view. It is more of a factual recount. Let's look at source F. Huh? What source F tells us. Okay, let's see what source F, the providence, who say that? Ayo. Ah, the view of the Thomas Fletcher research of using surgery, Switzerland. Ah, neutral party. But don't forget, Switzerland is under which side? Is it under the NATO or under the Warsaw? If it's under the Warsaw Pact, it's under the Russians. Is it under the NATO? Still got a bit of favorism towards the ideologies of capitalism. Still, they think that they will say something. So he wants to play a, a fair, fair game. Why have this queer said? Firstly, after the fail base by the American support Cuba missile invade Cuba, both the Cuban leader and the Nikos felt that the need to preserve. So it started off with a very negative statement. Huh? Then he add on, secondly, from the Soviet point of view, stations, missile Cuba was a means to close their miss, missile gap where the U-State is raising unfavorable strategic imbalance. So this also say that it's not my fault, no. The US placed a missile in Europe, in Turkey, no, facing me. 
So in Iya Huan Ye, an eye for an eye, a two for the two, I'm doing that. They say that Lee Kosek wanted to expose US a threat similar to the Soviet Union. See, wanted to expose the US, US to do a threat similar to that faced by Soviet. So exactly, say, not me. Uh, you started off, you bloody hell, you point all your missile to, to my country, Soviet, and now I'm doing that to you. This was when the United States deployed the UK to create okay, military base in the country and all these. This was then. This, this sentence is a bit contra contradicting. Like, Sing Chen, do you agree? No? You always like to analyze my sentence. I really enjoy it. Now. This is the way as a good student, you should analyze teacher sentence. Not 100% the teachers are always correct. You can change my course of believing you. That means you win the game. Yi Chen and Hao Rei, do you agree now? this sentence? You don't think this is the same way? Uh, Yi Chen, O-level student, come on. He said so many things, firstly, secondly, thirdly, uh, so that the US is going to be able to do it. Then what did he say? This was when the US deployed US nuclear weapons to create military base in countries surrounding the Soviet Union. You mean you know Russia is a threat to the European country? You mean you know Russia is a communist? You mean you know Russia already built Berlin Wall? You mean you know Russia has taken the eastern block of the Europe? Then you always want to talk about so many things, say that the US is doing a bad thing. Then you just say, oh, it's right for the US to deploy weapons. You mean you know what I'm talking about? 我看不到你 ，OK？ 但你解释给我听，他到底在讲什么？东东 ，He's saying that US is threatening USSR because it placed like uh nuclear weapons around Soviet Union. But that doesn't convince me what you say, no? Because in my knowledge, I know that both also placing missile each other. Both is just waiting for to push the button and to attack But one like, another. They deliberately say Who that. Who is the day? Who is the day? Who is the day? Like the writer deliberately said that this was when the United States deployed US nuclear missiles to create uh, military bases in other countries, mm. in countries surrounding Soviet Union. This is like saying that they put the thing first. Like America put missiles around Soviet Union first, then Soviet Union reacted. Not me. Not me. It's Russia. Start the end. He built the Berlin Wall, eh? He stopped the Marshall Plan, no. Oh. Ah, uh, Pusu will start the. You see, this one you have to look further. Now, children, ah, this is written at that point of view, ah, a researcher at the university, eh? It's a counting to that prominence, a researcher at the university, eh? You have to know this is not small, eh? This one should be a professor, or a professor, or a professor, or a very high end, eh? That means he has done his research. He's actually bringing a message across to tell the world. You can judge yourself, you can analyze yourself, you can do your hypothesis, see who is right and wrong. You know what I mean? Very high, huh? You get me now? Ah, it's just like you, you three kids, Daddy. If if your little two tells you, Daddy, you think if I'm wrong, oh, you punish me, lah. You think Coco is correct, then I got nothing to say. Then if you think Titi is innocent, then you punish me, lor. It's a. Then it's a more fun, lor. <laughs> how are you going to do that and you know who is the one who actually caused the whole entire problem maybe it's the elder son and the third son want to bully your second son <laughs> go right now you can understand this guy you see that's the reason why he put neutral there there's a reason for that okay because I done it before my previous that one, this question, I think I did it two or three years ago, so I can't really remember much, but I know this one is a very tricky one. So take note of this, uh, children. When you came across this kind of, this kind of question, this coin, when you come across this kind of uh, sources, please check your provenance first before you go and analyze the thing. Okay, Ethan. You don't straight away look at inside the content. You must see who provide the content. You must see who is the person who say that. Not only the neutral party, but Tan is a researcher that. That means he has tons and tons of evidence to prove who is the actual one to start the Cold War. You have to understand the whole entire that during the Germany about to surrender, who is the one who makes a very um, unfavorable demands, which is Stalin. 
and you have to understand during the the meeting uh, of the Cold War, uh, the the Yalta conference or all these stuff, uh, you have to understand Stalin had, uh, before the end of the war, Stalin was with Winston and Roosevelt. Then after the war, the two fell by bye already. One kind of set or kind of taken away with Winston. The other one, Mati, died. So Stalin uh, has the upper hand to, to like negotiate with these two new punk kicks. Uh, so he has the upper hand. So this is one to telling you who is the main mastermind of this whole entire episode. Damn solid. Eh? We may not have the time to go through every questions, but now we completed the Soviet Union's uh, CMC, okay, which is the Cold War. Now we're going to move on to the essay. Okay. It is an essay. Yeah, okay, this essay, yeah. Explain the failure of the list. Okay, so our dear friend Yi Chen and no, Xing Chen and Hao Rei. Okay, so let's read. Hao Rei. The failure of the League of Nations led to the outbreak of World War II in Europe as the League failed to effectively deal with international conflicts to maintain world peace. For example, during the Abyssinia crisis, the League's members such as Britain and France had an alliance with Italy, so thus did not want to intervene in the situation and make an enemy out of Italy. The League thus failed to enforce meaningful sanctions which resulted in Italian takeover of Abyssinia. The failure of the League or to stop Italy's aggressive ambitions made Hitler and Mussolini order to pursue their aggressive ambitions as they knew that the League would not be able to stop them. Hitler went on to take over countries such as Austria, Czechoslovakia, and Poland, which led to the declaration of war in Europe. Wow, wow stop, stop, stop. You are the very few student who can pronounce the word Czechoslovakia. Okay, now this country no more already. Uh, it's called the Czech Republic and Slovakia, two separate countries. Uh. And you realize uh, the whole, most of the essay, uh, when you write about this one here, uh, the failure of late of nation, not talking about Hitler, uh, don't, don't talk about Hitler, just late of failure of nation. A lot of people like to talk about the Abyssinia, the Italy, but no, not many in the essay, take note, uh, not many in the, the essay questions write about how the Japanese took over the Manchuria, how the Japanese attacked China during the 1933 or 31 or 38, I can't really remember, sorry, around that period of time where they controlled China for eight years. And that's because he pulled out from the LN and they decided to wage war against China and asked the Puyi, the last emperor of China of, of, of the Manchuria descendants to become a puppet ruler. So this one, seldom, uh, but this, uh, not your fault, uh, children, because it was not fully uh, detailed, documented in your history textbook. But in the old textbook, they really say about it. So just to give you a, a hint, so I just remember about this, which I shared with my student in two or three years ago for this as well. Okay, uh, how Ray, don't mind? Hitler's foreign policy led to the outbreak of World War II in Europe as he had an aggressive expansionist foreign policy. He wished to establish a greater Germany which would involve, involve acquiring lands such as Austria, Czechoslovakia, and Poland. He also wanted to create living space for Germans to facilitate further German expansion. This involves taking over large areas in Eastern Europe, such as Soviet Union and Poland. Hitler's foreign policy involves taking over land that belongs to other countries that would make conflict and war inevitable. Hitler's invasion of Poland led to the declaration of war in Europe. So always use Poland in 1939, the 1st of September war. As, a, as the best of the, the breakthrough of Hitler expansionary policy. And the living space, we know that Germans were liberalisms. Um, if you can't spell the words, which I also can't really spell it, to be honest. I've been teaching history for so many years. Some, some certain words I can't even pronounce properly and even can't write properly for those words. Okay, so you just write, create living space. And don't spell, if you do not know how to spell the spelling, please don't do it. Uh. Okay, if you spell wrongly, yeah, and good luck to you. Huh? So don't. So if these two reasons why it caused the, the failure, I think the biggest reason is not this, because he learned very smart. 
Hitler took those countries to be their Axis power, like Italy and Japan, because they know these two. In fact, Japan used to attack Hitler, Germany. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, not Hitler. Attack Germany in World War One. But how come they become good friends? It's because that it was a past uh, ruler. Uh, he, they are against the ruler, but may not be against the country of the people. So therefore, Hitler decided to join forces with Japan, as well as Italy, and even some with Spain and some Portugal, and even uh, Hungary, Yugoslovakia, Belgium, Austria, all these countries. So they know that these are the countries who support because they have the blood flowing through like Aryan's race or even the German's race or even they are pro-Hitler because of his policy. They help them to free from dictatorship in their, in their like respective countries. Therefore, they help Hitler to do the expansion policy. So I find that it's not Hitler foreign policy is up where he has aggressive this one. I find it more because he spread that kind of rumors, spread that kind of things to get people to involve. So so other countries are so involved in fighting here and there. So make the lead of nations so to use this opportunity, so he can use this to expand it. Very smart. Huh? He stir the problem in Europe. At the same time, he also stir his own problem. So making those countries like England, France, at their wits end, don't know what to do. So they have to let German to go scots free and break away the Treaty of Versailles. This is a very cunning move that he makes, which is not wrong. So it's like waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Lah. Okay, let's talk about this one here. The policy of appeasement, was it a success? Definitely it's not a success. Lah. Whoever says it's a success, definitely. Let's go quickly. Yeah. Okay. The answer is so sharp. I can't remember, so sorry. Now, you see? Okay, now my since answer is so short. Uh, Ethan. Uh, the policy of appeasement was a success as it met its aims of giving Britain and France time it needs to rearm and prepare for war. Hey, this was what, what came out for our exam. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I think. Whoa, hey, I'll give you a little bit of But it's not the, the, the SPQ, the, the source is not the same. But I think the, hey, this is the, SEQ, like, my dear. The, S, <laughs> the SEQ is exactly the same. It's, one was on policy of appeasement, the other one was on... Ayo, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I tell piece you piece what. Piece. Wait, uh, sorry, uh, Ethan. I tell you what. Uh, next week, I give that one. Uh, I can tell you, fifty percent will come out in your O level. Uh. I got very strong confidence. And please, uh, don't be clown. Uh, I'm going to share this question with your friends. Uh. Don't, uh, Okay. There uh, By the way, the three of you, uh, just take note, uh. Next week, the lesson plan. I'll just put one simple one. Okay. We'll go through exam question for O level and set three. So the whole entire uh, lesson plan will be only two pages the most. Uh, okay. Then when you come to class, I will show you all the questions. Okay. Can I do? I may not want to show all the questions when I submit to the the, the Google uh, the lesson plan to you. Okay. So just don't worry. I will give you everything. Carry on. Hello. Uh, Carry on. Wait. Where did I stop? I don't know. Uh, at the point, at the point of time, Germany had rearmed and was seen as a for formidable power. Germany would be even more difficult to defeat if it was supported by Italy. Britain, uh, realized that if they did not appease Hitler and enter into an armed conflict, they might also, uh, they may be defeated. Thus, they decided to appease Hitler so that uh, so as to buy time to prepare for war. Thus, eventually, when war was declared, the Allied powers were ready for war. The policy of appeasement was a success and it met with it, its aim of giving Britain and France the time needed to prepare for war against Germany. Okay, stop. Uh. This one to me is a bullshit. Okay, this one is a bullshit. This one actually saying 
preparing time for the British and France is really a, I don't I totally agree. Uh. Because at that time, uh, if you have time, uh, it's a Sing Chan, I think, uh, please argue with me, uh, Sing Chan. Sing Chan. Okay, and how Ray, please argue with me. Uh. If you have time, oh, you why you go to that side and fight with him? Why you go to that side? Hey, hey, don't fight. Lah, huh? Hey, please be friend. Lah. Hey, please don't like that. Lah. Right, Yi Chen? If you really are really prepared, you are good. Why must you go and please people? You will be able to do the same thing. You will go and attack and just tell them stop. You better stop doing all these things. If not, we will attack you. True, Yi Chen? You are telling your enemy uh, that because you got no guts, you buy time. Buy your head, uh, buy time. Okay? You should be enough to attack ready. That shows something. Uh, Sing Chen, do you agree with me now? The British is not ready. Yeah. At you agree? Time, I can't hear. Through. Sorry. At that point of time, they just went through World War One, So they probably might have been traumatized by the events that took place during World War One, since it was one of the biggest wars of that time. So they would likely wanted to have prevented another one altogether. So they would, they would be much more willing to appease and to just exert force. Yeah, correct. I think there are spies who went in to see. There are some reporter really went in to see what Hitler did. Thank you, Harry. I agree with you and I agree, Sing Chen. You are giving them to already start to break away the Treaty of Versailles. The lead of nation is really so lousy already. And then because this, this is a golden opportunity for Hitler to rise to the occasion, rise to power, rise to be a dictatorship. It's the best time, right? It's, 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 so you are right, since uh, because half of the population already traumatized, they don't want to go to war. They thought they are buying time. Uh, I think they will not. I think they will not. This uh, I think they will not and not not. So you see, not only they increase for hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, and make a loophole out of it. And as you know that internally Hitler are building up the arsenal and the manpower, you should use the TOV and the hey, hello, excuse me, why are you doing this? You are against it, and how come nobody go there? And when Germany attacked uh, Austria, and others, how can nobody stop them? And when Germany will take over Rhineland, how can nobody stop there? That shows that you are weak. Just like Yi Chen is like a strong man. Imagine Yi Chen is a strong man. He 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 is a <laughs> then Song Lao Ban Jiu Jiao Ren Lai Gen Yi Chen Jiang, Da Ge Lao Da, we Jiang He La Ho, Bu Yao Zhe Yang La Ho. Tisi Wo Zai Zao Shi Jian Pao Lu Liao Yi Chen. Bye bye. <laughs> this is so damn stupid. Not you, huh? I'm not saying you. I'm saying this way of saying buying time is really ridiculous. Ah, Xiao Hai Zi Dou Zi Dao Le. Let's go. Last part. End of it. Ethan. The policy of appeasement was not a success as it did not meet its aims of preventing another war. Instead, it made Hitler bolder and stronger to continue his expansionist policy uh, aims. It's okay. Uh, you can say especially policy or aim is fine. Okay. Chamberlain mistakenly believed that Hitler was a man who could be reasoned with. He wrongly believed that Hitler's aim were limited to revising the TOV instead of abolishing it, and that Hitler could be satisfied with negotiations and agreements. He believed Hitler's promise that he would increase making demands once he controlled Sudan. Sudan Thailand, uh. so you see, uh, Sudan, Sudan Thailand, Sud Thailand. Okay. Anyway, you realize until today, our uh, British army was, to me, uh, British still have like haven't wake up, no? Like take for Af Afghanistan, this, this recent case of Afghanistan. Uh, US already start moving out and all these things. And then they, 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 leave, they left about 1,000 over troops of the British in Afghanistan. You see, whatever Americans do, the British will support the cause of it, which is nothing wrong for the humanitarian grounds to support it. But you realize that uh, they are so gullible and naive that thinking that the Taliban of Afghan Afghanistan will be handled well by the Taliban, which is you and I, I think we know that it's not really possible because of their deep-rooted of their religions. That's why I told you already. 
we during our SS time, I told you religion is the one that really drives the whole entire world crazy. It's not about race, okay? Race is come secondary. It's only the religion that can brainwash, can change the whole entire concept of the ideologies. That is why communists get rid of religions because they know with religions, they can re become orthodox. Orthodox means follow the things uh, closely to the religion background. That's why they get rid of Nicholas the Tsar, who believed in the church belief. That's why I got Rasputin, who is a priest who can say, walk off the evil from his son and then sleep with his wife. Where got a king allowed the wife to sleep with a priest, that kind of thing, where the general was so afraid of it. And that's the reason of all these things. Religions is the um, a things that change the whole entire course. Well, the two, the three of you can disagree with me, but um, this is what I, I've seen and been reading and teaching history for so many years that I feel that religion is the most main cause of starting a war. So Hitler is also something we use to race, but you can see that he get rid of all the religions, uh, no communists, but he did not really get rid of religions. You realize the the, the sign of the Nazis sounds looks like a Buddhist uh, swastika, right? The, the symbol. So I find that it's still as a concept of using that kind of religious belief um, that even though he bring, burned down churches and all these things, but you still have the sense of kind of religious belief in my opinion, okay? So like this one, definitely Chamberlain is very naive. He's such a, you see British people are very gentlemen. They believe in proper rules and orders, but unfortunately it doesn't make that way. Are you out there? Sorry. Oh, you're very serious. Didn't move. I thought what happened. So, in my opinion, so the appeasement is totally a flop. The success is not this to me. Not even I will not consider a success. I will consider it like more to a failure than a success. Buying time depends. Like the Japan attack U.S. Buying time is to really go and whack the Pearl Harbor. And then it's called buying time to build up the military so that he can buy time and attack Southeast Asia. That is what I call buying time, in my opinion. This is not buying time. This is to negotiate a time for them to recuperate so that they can have a bit longer time to make sure they recover from the economic crisis. Okay, so we still got a lot of questions like this one here. Gentlemen, this is the question you're supposed to do. What is the dente? So I think we can take away for these questions here. Policy of the dente, we may not want to do this. Okay, you can do this one here. This one don't do, huh? sorry. I think this one I did not delete off, so sorry. This one don't need to do. Okay, so sorry. And this one here, okay. Children, can you please do these two questions as a homework? Okay, uh, I think we predict Stalin to come out, right? for O level. So please, uh, Ethan, if you have time, I know school, okay, this is the two questions, uh, take note, uh. okay. I'm gonna stop sharing. Anyways, the stop sharing. Okay. okay, any questions, the three of you? If not, then you just remember that those essays you're supposed to do Okay, and submit it if you can in the Google Classroom. If not, next lesson, I will give you a list of all the possible O-level questions for Ethan. Okay, but those questions can be used for Sing Ten and How Rate for your next year exam. If this year exam don't come out the questions, okay, I prepare already. 